Hi everyone, welcome back to Gold Fries. You might be wondering how long can a laptop last? Well, I have a laptop here that is about 15 years old now, well, almost 15. Actually, it's a laptop that I got, I received from Acer back in 2009. Yes, it's that ancient. And huge thanks to Acer for giving me this uh, laptop. It has been helpful to me for throughout the years, actually. And ever since then, I have two other Acer laptop, one that I won through a lucky draw, another one is yet another gift from Acer. So huge thanks to Acer. All three laptops are in working condition, of course, with conditions, especially for this one. The other two is actually working, but this one is literally with conditions. Now, this is not a sponsored post. It just so happened that I am somewhat troubleshooting this laptop. So I thought I might as well make a video about this. Now, this is the Acer Timeline 3810T. If you search for Go Fries Acer 3810T, whatever on Google, you will see the results there. I haven't started a YouTube channel back then, I think. So it was an article review. This laptop is now strictly confined to office use. Why? Because the battery holds no charge, the plastic on the hinges are broken, the keys are still okay with just a few missing keys from accidents and whatever that. So um, literally not something you want to port around. And I actually finished drafting my content, which is actually over here. I've actually drafted my content just nicely. And then it, the screen was work, working then and I shifted it over to the recording scene over here. And now the screen does not work. Though Windows, the Windows power on uh, sound is still still there, and the green sound. Well, that's because it's still on Windows Vista. Yes, it's on Windows Vista. There was a time where it turned sluggish, so I upgraded the hard disk to SSD, and also the fan sort of broke down. It was noisy, so I disabled it. So it's literally running in fanless mode. But there's no problem because this is a strictly office use PC, mainly for accounting stuff. And it's been running literally every day for past decade or so. And you know what? Uh, the reason it's still here because my accounting software is tied to the system. And it's really difficult to, I mean, I wouldn't want to migrate just yet, although I'm looking for different solutions now. I'm actually looking into it before everything goes a haywire but overall it's still working at least now hopefully it's just still able to output this display but overall yeah that is what it is right now and you might be asking why does a laptop go into this kind of condition and believe me this is not um this is not something out of the ordinary because every other laptop they will not be using metal for the the, the build they will that will be very heavy and expensive so typically the build is plastic and what happens with plastic over time? They degrade. And you know the hinges on laptops, typically they are screws that hold on to some metal parts that hold on to the plastic parts. So as you move the, the, the screen, you open and close the lid, through time, through the years, eventually you reach a point that it cracks, it breaks. Now, over the years, I have also serviced laptops from other people and believe me, I see the exact same thing regardless of brand the hinges will just break and people will find it not usable anymore and just discard it or put it aside in my case it was strictly work on this laptop until things start to break and you know what i did we just um, kept it powered on it does not this does not drain much power anyway keep the lid slightly uh, you can close the lid in fact then you can set it um, set windows to not shut down when you close the lid and what i did was output through the vga port to a monitor um, i have a 20 24 inch asus monitor that's uh, using that's connected to this laptop and then on the usb i'll put the keyboard and mouse or and you can have a usb hub as well because there's limited ports so you can use a usb hub and connect to stuff like printers and usb ports so basically, that's that with laptops. Typically, screen and the system will work. It's the hinge, the plastic parts that break that makes people stop using it. In fact, the next thing that breaks is possibly the screen itself. 
In my case, um, I actually wanted to video how the screen looks like. It's a little, little, little dim and you see some light shining, um, stronger lights from the bottom. But as of now, actually, what's surprisingly is that as of now, I actually can see something on this dark screen. Over here, I can show you it's dark, but there is some shade around it that I can see some words out of some, I, I don't know what's the text there. I can't make it out. Even just now, I could see some things, but it just, I cannot just, it's just so dim. You can see something out of it, but can't do anything out of it. So back to what I was saying, typically it's the plastic that breaks down first. And in some case, it is the screen that, screen or the connection to the screen that breaks due to the wear and tear. However, the parts over here, which is under the keyboard, where there's the process, the motherboard, the processor, the memory, the storage, and everything here, typically it is actually in working condition. So what happens after this video? Well, I'll be actually troubleshooting this. Initially, I thought after this video, back to the original place where it resumes work, but looks like I'm going to be spending my night after this to see what's the, the resolution to get this up and running again. Worst case scenario, it will be me dismantling it, take the, the storage out, put it in another machine and I don't know, maybe upgrade Windows and find another accounting software or whatever it is. So basically, I hope your curiosity, if ever you have one, about how long a laptop can last you is settled here. Laptops can last a long time. My advice to you is um, to ought to keep the hinges well and um, how you say not break so soon. Other than keeping it away from hot places and all that, try to open and close using holding the middle area instead of. I know some people like to use the sides to open close. I highly recommend using the middle so the pressure is even out, and do it gently, as gently as possible instead of rough. You know, open and close. So if, with this way, you balance out the pressure and minimize the, the, the pressure on these elements, prolonging the life of it. And also, yeah, for the wear and tear of the internal stuff. Um, that's it. That's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.